Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be carving up a tree. Yes, again, we're going to be working on a tree. We're going to be carving it out of some scrap wood. All right, so no need to throw all those scraps away or put them in the burn pile. We might as well do something with them and maybe make a couple dollars, right? If you want to learn how to do that, be sure to stick around. <laughs> said we're gonna be working on carving up a tree out of some scrap now if you saw the three foot tree carving I did Christmas tree maybe these pieces will look familiar probably not these were the top you know the top of the log was here and these were my angle cuts so they fell off the side when I made my uh, my cone there are the pieces out here now they almost went in the wood stove and then I was like why not do something I can make a few bucks with right why burn them I decided let's make a video and uh, share it with you guys First thing we gotta do is get it in the jaw horse and turn it so maybe you guys can see what the heck's going on. Now I'm in the shop again because it's still pretty chilly out and I just I don't feel like going out there and being cold today. I don't I'm being a baby about it. I don't feel like doing it. I can admit it. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my dime tip bar. Now if you just watched the video on how to carve a tree, you guys will basically get this concept right off the bat but we're going to do the same thing here we're going to come through and just make branches at a lower angle only on one side though because the goal is this would sit up against a wall or maybe you want to put a hook or a piece of string on the back and somebody could actually hang this piece once it's done now the first thing I want to do is go through and kind of make my cone shape here okay so we don't have to make as many cuts, but we do need to kind of come in and kind of cut it back a little bit. Now these cuts are gonna be very thin. They're gonna be shallow. We're not going super deep except for the edge and then it's shallow and then the edge will cut all the way through. Made those cuts because I'm going to come in and do the trunk now. That's it for the saw work, you guys. Very, very simple. Nothing super crazy. So now we're gonna take that taper bit. It's a saber tooth taper bit, and I've got it in my die grinder here. We're gonna go through and clean this up and give it a little bit more of a three-dimensional look so it's not so flat. We did that by removing some wood under here by doing angle cuts, and now we're gonna do it by removing some of the wood underneath 
an upper branch by removing the wood on that lower branch. You know what comes up right here? We're going to remove that, kind of swoop it down a little bit. If you guys are interested in getting the saber tooth tools, this dust mask, or anything like that, check out the links below. They are to Amazon. You guys purchase through those links, they help support the channel, and I really appreciate it. Also, something you guys can look forward to, I'm working with Teespring to come up with some t-shirts. So hopefully pretty soon I'll have a link here to, uh, to the Teespring store. I don't know. Maybe you guys can get some t-shirts or stuff with uh, the logo on it. Let me know if that's something you guys are even interested in, you know, because I started making a t-shirt and it is a little time consuming and if you guys really aren't into it, I'm not going to bother. But if some of you would like a t-shirt with maybe some sayings that I I like to actually say, I'm going to write them down, put them on some t-shirts, maybe put a Kyle Hall woodworker on some stuff or maybe just my logo. I don't know. Throw some ideas out there. If you guys want some gear to uh, help support the channel and, uh, I don't know, show off. Let me know. Comment below. So, yeah, let's keep going on this. Anyway, got my mask on. Saber tooth taper bit. So there you have it. Here is the tree. Now, a lot of times if you get carving a lot and getting a lot of orders or doing a lot of bears or whatever it is, you'll end up with a scrap pile. I tend to keep these bigger pieces of scrap to the side. One, so I can fix cracks on other carvings if need be. And two, if I need some filler items for a craft fair or to help fill a store or maybe to put on my Etsy shop, I can knock out a few small pieces like this and get them right out there or get them ready and get them done. As you guys can see, this isn't a very long process. This does not take a long time to get these to this state. So we've already carved it with the chainsaw and we've already hit it with the taper bit. Now this is that time where you can either hit this thing with a torch, burn it up lightly and get the fair off, hit it with a bristle brush to get that all done and then paint it. I showed you guys in the last video how to paint the tree carving. The process for this is the same. I'll show you again in case you missed that one. You hold up a piece of cardboard or a thin piece of wood or something like that to uh, block any overspray from getting on your tree trunk. And then you just simply spray it on. Now I'm not gonna do the whole tree here because honestly I need to get mine outside and burn it. And you all have a general idea of how to burn something like this by now. So I'm not gonna go through that whole process. If you need me to though and you need some more direction on burning it and getting it ready, for real, let me know below and I'll do a little video on that. We'll kind of just go over it again. I know I've gone over it in a lot of carving videos, but if you need one just for that, uh, let me know and I could probably throw it together for you. So 
That's it though guys, a quick, simple, easy little tree to make out of scrap wood. Remember to put your initials, your insignia, your whatever it is on your piece. I usually do it on the back or on the bottom. Always, always initial or sign your work. It's very important, even with simple things like this. You'll find that over time, if you get more serious and people really start buying, you'll get collectors and they want to know your name is on it. So keep that in mind. I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe for me. As usual, find the links to all the tools below in the description and check out some of these videos that are popping up here in the end. I want to thank you all for watching again, and I'll see you guys next time.